Okay, so here I am. This is the, my very first compost. It's got avocado peels, lemons, avocado seeds, eggshells, lots of coffee grinds, those sticks and paper. Um, and I'm just about to add these red worms that I got at the Lake St. Louis Farmer's Market. And I just watched a video on how to release the krakens. So I bought, paid 25 bucks for three to 500 worms. And I'm just going to go get them. So this is, uh, this is 25 bucks from Suburban Worms. It's in a breathable bag, I believe. And they are red wigglers. I really don't know what I'm doing. But these guys, I can probably show them this video. And they will tell me if I screwed it up. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to trying it. I've got to save some for my neighbor, 10 worms for my neighbor, because she's got a garden tower. So basically you're just gonna take, this is what the, the one video showed me. Just be careful when you hold the bag, because if you hold it and walk around with it like I did at the farmer's market, you'll get a stain on your white clothes or what have you. These guys are awesome, super great people. no idea what I'm doing. Release the dragon. Woo! Look at that. Lots of dragons in there. So I guess there's lots of worms. I don't know if you can see them. Let's see if I can adjust it down even more. Oh no. There's a little wormy there. I'll probably have to get a couple, maybe one or two. I'll have to bring some over to my neighbor. I'm gonna, these are the worms, can you see them? Most experience I've had with worms are ones you find on the sidewalk. So now it says to leave the lid off for a little while and then put paper over it. So let's, uh, they're gonna probably keep them in the middle and they're gonna all go down to where they wanna go. So right now, all I have is this Trader Joe's bag. And actually next Saturday, I'm gonna give this bag back to the worm people because why not? They can recycle it. So I'm just going to leave the lid open and then hope for the best. Interesting. <laughs>